hi guys how are you guys doing all right so welcome back welcome back welcome back this is for scorpio so we're going to jump into your bonus read to see what we have for you i did your main spread your singles and also this is going to be your bonus all right so let's see if the angels have anything new for us okay hopefully we pick up some new energy so if this does resonate remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up here on my channel all right what's going on for scorpio scorpio what's going on for scorpio oh wow so the king of wands a lot of focus here a lot of passion a lot of taking charge of the situation what are you taking charge of okay i'm feeling something is like foretold here like you're about to get visions or dreams as well Ooh. okay wow you have a whole bunch of cards angels okay <laughs> angels okay you you gave me a whole bunch of work all right so the six of pentacles all right in reverse then we have the knight of swords we have the queen of cups we have the king of cups all right so let's see here we also have the hangman all right we have the ace of pentacles the king well no the knight of cups the emperor ooh, and we have the four of wands and the nine of wands wow so there's just a lot going on for you scorpio i need one more card though angels for scorpio bonus what's going on for scorpio bonus i feel like it's like this form of determination um, to deal with this unbalanced situation in your life, okay? Um, this could be someone that's involved with you in Aries, Leo, or Sag energy, but I'm also seeing uh, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Pisces coming out in the main energy as well, okay? I am seeing who else? Do, 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 do. Aries is coming out in the main energy, major card. All right, so I need one more. I feel like somebody took from you and you're you're dealing with this. You might you just might have found out something that someone was being dishonest. Okay, we have the two of cups in reverse. What's that noise? <laughs> this is creeping me out, you guys. All right, so I feel like you're finding out something about what have happened to this, you know, um, balance. It could be about money that you're about to find out about with the Six of Pentacles. Um, there was someone that took some action against you that you had to block out of your life. I'm definitely feeling like this person wasn't someone that gave you... Where am I supposed to be looking? Is it here? I think it's this one. But I tend to look over there. I'm not sure, you guys, where I'm supposed to be looking in this camera, Okay. I think I'm supposed to be looking over here. I'm not sure. Um, the camera seemed to be over here. Isn't that right? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I'm just looking there. Okay, period. I just look over here. All right, y'all, because I'm just like, where am I supposed to be looking? Dots are everywhere. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's over here. Maybe, I don't know. But y'all. There is somebody that you black you blocked okay um i feel like this person didn't give you the satisfaction satisf satisfaction when it comes to this relationship um um i just feel like this person wasn't ready and they were coming off very sensitive towards you anyways like they were trying to play the victim why am i getting like you two are like you could be dating a, a scorpio scorpio because they're coming off, you're coming off like someone that this person, like you're coming off as similar. But somebody's a cancer here. Maybe he's a cancer. It's very sensitive, like in cancer mode. Because Scorpio, you're coming off as kind and this person is coming off as a sensitive person. So definitely feeling like you, you could, this could be a cancer. 
I'm feeling like there is some like watching. This person is not making any move towards you. I feel like this person is waiting, waiting to do something, waiting for the right time um, to approach. There's something you should happen. There's a shift that happened that this person is not comfortable in this situation to actually surrender and say, hey, um, I did this. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, this person is like waiting in the winds here. There's this ending coming on when it comes to a new beginning with you and this person. There is no longer this affection of seeing something new with this person, like a, a, a life with this person. You feel like that is just like in reverse here. OK, I feel like this person is coming off as somebody who wants power, who wants power over you, who wants to control you or have some kind of um, authority over you as well. Um, this could be somebody from that you met from work. This could be a boss, okay? That y'all been getting entwined with, okay? But this person, it's not like they're like trying to like physically abuse you or anything. This is not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like this per person just has a lot of power around them. So they're like, they like that power. They like to have control of their situation. So this person, if there's a, if there is something that's not right, they're going to take care of it. You know, like they're going to, you know, let me handle this. I got this kind of energy. Then we have the five of wands here. Y'all not seeing eye to eye. It's like y'all bumping heads because of how powerful this person is appearing to be with you and you're not having that. You're not trying to be submissive. This person is not trying to be submissive. It's like you both want to be in control of this relationship or this connection or whatever this is, Scorpio. Um, I'm seeing you walking away from this person because enough is enough. You feel like you can't have your way and it is what it is. <laughs> don't come for me it is what it is you have the nine of wands here the two of cups and separation you have the six of wands you pee you like this deuces and then you like you getting your life together and you doing good by yourself this is what i'm saying you don't need this person you know you're going to be fine it's like as soon as you forget about this energy <laughs> Life is just looking good for you, period. You don't have nothing to worry about. You're not thinking about them. They're not on your radar anymore. Damn, Scorpio, you cold. <laughs> you cold. All right, so tell me more about this. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. So this person was selfish. They deserve it. That's what you're telling me. Codependency. This person was selfish. They didn't want to give you nothing, no time. They, they, they caught up in something else. Well, when they think of you, they know you're going to be great. All you wanted was some kind of like real, a real connection with this person to appreciate you, to take you out, you know, to show you off. You know, a seven of pentacles here to invest in you, to give you that real chance and to really try. This person didn't try in the strength, you know, they didn't take, they didn't like, like you wanted them to have that power to try to, to be, to be your equal, you know, to invest together to accomplish certain things. But what they were giving you was the Four of Pentacles. <sighs> mm -mm. Tell me more about this strength. I'm getting Leo here, y'all. Fire sign. I got Aries. I got Leo as well. I got Pisces. Um, Seven of Wands. They were lying to you. Lying to you, keeping things away from you. You didn't like that. You were asking why. They were having an attitude. This is what I'm seeing here. Acting like they were trying to protect the cause when it comes to the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. But this is in reverse. And you're just like, no, you were protecting yourself. 
So, you know, trying to keep the power, trying to keep control of what was going on around you, trying to keep you trapped, but you wasn't having it. You're very strong, Scorpio. This is for someone who, um, this message is for someone who been in a relationship or a connection with someone where they wanted more and they wanted to build something great. Um, and this person, the whole time they were hiding things and keeping things away from you. And you still looked within them and hoped for the best and hoped for this person will one day take control of the situation. But all this person does is hide, if that makes sense. All they do is hide and, you know, hid from you in the hangman being here. No parent move in pause mode. Like, you know, they're frozen in time. <laughs> frozen, y'all. They're crazy. Oh, Lord. Tell me more. Cross watches. You cry as they. Tell me more. Okay. For Scorpio bonus. What messages do you have for Scorpio bonus? So, for some of y'all, y'all coming up married for this person? Because I'm just going to say this because the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, you're appearing to be one with the Two of Cups here in separation. Still, though, you got mutual feelings when it comes to each other. But for you, Scorpio, it's not about love. It's about the respect. It's always going to be about the loyalty and the respect with you. Always that's how Scorpios are. No matter how many chances you give this person, even if this person does come around and turn around and you gave them 20 chances. Okay. And they do turn around. Unfortunately, you're going to end up falling out of like with that person. And that person is going to have to work harder to keep you than you're going to work to keep them. It's just how Scorpios are. You know, yes, we when we when we meet the one that we want, we do everything for them, everything for them. And we just it's just like that. It's that love that really gets messes up because we don't like to separate from someone and even when they're giving us like they're in this negative way about themselves all the time we're like we hold on to that trying to like you know assure this person that you are going to be there no matter what and over time what happens is that we are there until we're not there if that makes sense because uh, it's just ah uh, scorpio is Scorpio learn by the history of things, all right? Yeah, you could say that we've been through a lot together, but also we learn from the history of things and the feelings change over time. It's either it's going to get better um, with the goodness that you bring to Scorpio's life or it's going to get worse with the badness you get, you know, you, you build with Scorpio's life. And that's what people, other Zodiacs don't, don't know. They constantly like, use, use Scorpio. <laughs> And they think that that's going to be the, the flippity flip forever. But then they learn the hard way and then Scorpio's no longer around. OK, um, so let me just um, see because I got off track, y'all, with y'all. But that's a message for somebody out there, especially the cross watches, because don't mess with Scorpio. OK, <laughs> don't mess with Scorpio. Yes, yeah, Scorpio is built by love, but they're rule by law they're like okay their loyalty is the best policy for scorpio it don't matter how much scorpio love you cross watcher just know that your loyalty they're going to reevaluate your loyalty every time every time and if it does it's just and every time you disappoint the love goes fading and fading every day it's just different so just be careful if this is someone you want to be with, okay? All right, so tell me what we need to know here. Thank you. Ooh, intimacy. So for, for some of y'all, definitely intimacy been off, off track. This is what I'm seeing here. So there is going to be new love coming in your life where it comes to, you know, a new person or it could be a past person as well. There's going to be some kind of intimacy. Be careful because there is also creativity following that. The angel Michael is also showing up in your read, protecting you, guiding you and making you feel safe here. So with that said, um, you know, whatever negative energies you got going on around you or trying to harm you just know that your angel 
is not making it happen, okay? But Angel Michael is realizing that you need love. So they're going to allow um, the second chakra to come into your life and to <laughs> give you some kind of intimacy. But remember to always protect yourself. Angel Michael is making you feel stable, making you feel safe, okay? But when it comes to your body, you, you're the only one that can protect that, all right? So, you got two angels around you. Tell me more. Thank you. You got your first and your second. <laughs> angel 35 and angel 36. Oof. All right. Heartbreak. All right. Any other messages, please? Wow, a, a second, a third angel. This is your sixth chakra. I believe this is about, um, let me just make sure because your girl be, this is, yeah, this is about um, clarity of thought and personal vision of yourself. You know, um, definitely there is some kind of blockage here that's going on when it comes to your mental thought. Okay, and the angel is actually here to enforce that or declare that. So you have the sixth chakra clearing your thought, the way of your thinking, so you can actually speak your th your truth and think or manifest very like easily, and also go after your personal vision about yourself or change that or even. Um, make it even better for yourself. Whatever your personal desires are, this angels are in for this angel is enforcing that. You have three angels. So you have one, two, and then three. And I'm shuffling here. You have a whole bunch of protection. What's going on here? Then you have a heartbreak. Somebody truly disappointed you. But I know that you're going to be very successful because I saw the six of wands on your own. It's like this energy. As soon as you leave this behind, this energy is going to be no more. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling. But for some reason, your angels are around you really, really badly. I'm seeing if I miss something because bruh. Okay, on the back of the deck, you have love. So new love is coming into your life, angel of love. Okay, so let me put this over here. Tell me more about this. Okay, you have the magician in the mirror. So definitely Gemini and Virgo energy here. Another angel, third chakra. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we have the thinking man. And we have the uh, possibilities. A whole lot of things that needs to be done here. I'm seeing like your mind is all over the place. This is what I'm being told. When it comes to possibilities, you, you feel like you're running out of time for some things. Like you have so much ideas and you're just like you haven't been you haven't got started yet. And your mind is kind of like waggling. This is what I'm hearing like all over the place. But I feel like a lot of what's going on is someone is saying like you're thinking way too much. You're spending time about sorry about the noise, you guys. You're spending time on things like in your mind. What do I can I do this? Can I do I have enough money for that? Should I just wait another year and save up more and more money before starting something? And it's all about med meditation. OK, manifestation is all about your clarity in the door to spirit, okay? In the door to your mental health, door to spirit. Without spirit, you are not going to jump entwined in your mental, the how powerful your mind is. Your mind is the, the, the thing that is going to create everything, okay? Because you're connected to your spirituality. You're connected to a higher purpose. It doesn't have to, for some of you out there, you know, be God, but it's definitely because... God comes in all forms, right? God comes in so many different names in this world, right? So whatever you make you feel like there is something bigger than you out there and you praise that and you look up to that, that is your power. That is your spiritual door. That is your mental door. That is what keeps you 
being being successful in the six of wands but i i feel like there's a bigger thing that's happening for you for a reason why all your angels are out here um something huge is happening all right so let me just look at number 37 all right so emotion of desires life force energy and then your 40 um the what is it the sixth chakra it's about your personal vision of of yourself how do you see yourself um do you know do <sighs> do that is that something that you want to change about yourself is that is that something that you want to go after is you know it's like that personal vision about yourself deep 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 like oh my god deep dig deep y'all dig deep <laughs> okay um and it's like that energy is coming through you to deep to dig deep within your personal vision there is something there personally about you that you have been avoiding and then i'm also getting from the the number 37 your desires your emotion the love so listen because new love is coming into your life so all these angels are getting together you got the intimacy you got the personal vision you got the um the emotional um desire you got your angel michael okay protecting you and making you feel as comfortable as possible but put that all together you have that protection you have the love coming in and you have the emotions and your personal visions it's something that you know that you wanted for a very long time when it comes to how personally okay personally what you wanted for yourself a very long time that you have been putting on the back burner your emotional desires what this person can entains within them their hearts do you understand what i'm saying all of these are connected your intimacy is all about your intimacy all about what you wanted what your creation for yourself it doesn't matter if this is love because this could represent love intimacy i mean what are, okay some people don't don't even need love to be to have this intimacy it could be um something that you're building from 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 uh, the ground up okay that is all about you intimately okay creating intimately this is something about you you <laughs> I'm not, i don't know if you got it because i had to like really dig to see what the hell is going on here but it's something about you that you put in the back burner a long time ago that is attached to your emotional desires that's attached to your personal vision about yourself okay your personal vision you what you see about yourself okay your desires that's coming from your heart about you okay okay and this makes you it's, it could be a person or it could be something that you're creating this is the intimate card and also the intimacy card and also the creation the creativity card okay and your angel is protecting you protecting you whatever you do through this process through it all it's all angels here but angel michael is the first one listen so it's time to manifest it's time to bring things to life this is what i'm hearing it's time to look yourself in the mirror again mirror position in the mirror okay look yourself in the mirror and start manifesting your dreams start manifesting your life manifesting what you want okay all right, Scorpio, y'all always trying to trick me, but here it is. New love is coming. New love, new love is coming, y'all. <laughs> this is what I have for your bonus. I hope it gave you some kind of answers of what's going on here. Love you guys, and I will see you guys in your next read. This really just, like, took all my energy out of me, okay? I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.